Hi Tarsis, Ian here. Tarsis, this is that video I said I'd send you with regards to, to layers um, and layer styles in particular. I wanted to show you how you can, can add layer styles or, or load layer styles and, lay, and save layer styles. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to open up a, a project and just add some random data to it. So I've got a little styles uh, folder on my desktop and I've got an urban layer which looks like this and I've got a shape file and then I've also got it added in a geo package so I'm going to add both of those and then go back to my layers and then just make sure that I got the right one set uh, I just want to distinguish between these two so let's just quickly see which one's which here so if I have a look at this one's information this is the geo package layer so let's just change this one to Geo package. Okay, and we're going to start off with the shape file. So let's just put that one on top. So we've got some urban boundaries here, and this would apply to to any polygon line or point as well. You would be able to change your set your styles and then save them and load them at a later point, or save them in the same place as the shape file, so that whenever you add that shape file to a project, it renders it using the styles of the layer style that's added or saved with that shape file. So I'll show you how to do that and let's just have a look at the information in this database or this uh, table to see what I can use to style on and I've got lots of information here for the various uh, properties and the one I want to style on let's have a look here is usage usage here yeah. so it's I guess it's uh, this is like the land use but by the looks of things we got this is this could also be construed as a zoning plan but anyway, this would be um, the same for any package, yeah, well, any layer you use. So if you're going to be styling the geological formations, you would just need to choose the right um, field to color up on, and you know the rest. So anyway, let's start off by, I'm going to open up my little layer styling panel, and I'm going to select categorized, and then just make sure I choose the correct column, which was usage, and then just classify everything. Okay, so there's not many here. I'm going to remove all others. Actually, yes, I do want to color all others, but all others are pretty plain. So maybe I'll just start with that one. And I'm going to make it like a light gray. Something like that. I'm going to leave the all the all the boundary lines, all the, the line thicknesses as the default and the default color as well. So we've got dwellings which are residential. We've got a public a uh, substation, electric substation. So that color could actually be maybe something red, for instance. Maybe not that red, but something like that. Okay, there we go. There's the substation down there. And these two, usually with zoning schemes, um, residential areas are often yellow. So let's just go make this yellow. That looks good. Actually, here's a yellow down here on my palette. Let me choose that yellow so that I can use the same one for the next residential. Okay, this one too is also going to be yellow. Okay, so that one's going to be yellow too. But I want to distinguish between the other one. So let's just add another fill and we'll make it black. And then I'll just give it a hatch. Something like that. So now we know that, so that that one is also residential, but it's dwelling two and dwelling one. So I'm not too sure what the difference is between these. It's just a different different zoning for the types of dwelling. It could be double story uh, or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. Places of worship, those can be orange. Uh, public open space, a uh, good one for that would just be like a plain green. Something like that. And then schools. We've got two schools. And schools, hmm, maybe a purple or something like that. Let's see how that looks. And then all others, so they don't have a zoning. They are currently gray. Okay, so that looks good. So now we've 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 gone ahead and we've we've created our styles, but we want to be able to to load this in a shape file when we load from scratch or we want to save the style and apply it to different layers in different projects 
So then we just need to save it. So I'm going to close down my layer styling window. And I'm going to open up the layer properties. And at the bottom here, we've got style. So it's under source information. There's always a little style tab down here. So it could, you could save the style for labels. You could save, save the style for styling, etc. Also how you set out the, the form uh, or, the, or the fields, etc, uh, etc. Et so this, is, this style will apply to all of the settings that you set up for this layer. But in this instance, actually what we'll also do is well, let's do it for labels as well. So let's just go single label and uh, what should we do? I think we can use property number. Let's see what this looks like. And we'll just put the text buffer on and say apply. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's fine. And then possibly, uh, let's just see what should we do? Free. Let's try free. That positions them quite nicely. Okay, there we go. So now we've got the earth numbers as well as the style colors. So we can say apply. We've done apply. Okay. So okay. So now we've set the labels as well as the uh, the colors for for that um, polygon layer. So now we go to style. We're going to save these styles as a QML file. And what, by saving it as a QML file, we'll need to put it in the same place. Or we can put it in the same place as um, as this layer and before I do that let's just go in here and give everything else a title as well okay so let's just apply that okay so just everything that that isn't labeled will also have an other category so let's just go style save style QML now we need to go and put it somewhere on our hard drive and I want to put it in the same place as the original layer which is a shape file on my desktop in a folder called styles and I'm going to call it urban okay so now the shape file the shape file that is in that uh, folder is already called urban so by saving the urban.qml file it's going to have the same name as the shape file and that'll have the effect of allowing us to add it to a new project and render using the qml that is saved with that shape file so let's say save and OK and OK. So now what should happen if we remove this layer? When we add it to a new project from scratch, if we just have a quick look and see what this looks like, if we go to our desktop uh, styles, there's our shape file. Now there's our new QML file, which we've only just saved in there. OK, so now that one, because it's got the same name as the other files in that shape file, when we add it to a project, it's going to use that layer file to style. So let's just drag this across and see if that worked. And there we go. Okay, so now if you do that for your geological layers, whenever someone adds it to a new project, they will get the, sil the stylings and labels that you set out originally. And that will make things a lot quicker, a lot easier to, to use those geological layers in your layer, in your projects. So quickly, let's just see how we can apply the same thing to a geo package layer. It's very similar. So firstly, I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to copy the styles and just paste it onto this layer. So we can just say right click styles, copy styles, all style categories. Then you select the layer you want to copy to right click. And let's just turn that one off. Turn this one on. Then you go right click styles, paste styles, paste all style categories and it uses that same uh, those same settings but now it's coloring up the layer from the geo package and if we want to save this as a style we can right click and go to properties and style save style and then what we can do is we can save it as a geo package layer so then in database geo package and the style name can be urban and then you can use it as a default for this layer. So that's a, that's probably a wise option to check that option. So every time you add that layer to a project, it's going to use the, the, the style package or the style layer which has been saved into your geo package. So we can say OK and OK. And let's just check that that worked. So I'm going to remove this layer. And I'm going to add the geo package layer. And similarly, it's using that layer style. Okay, so that's perfect. So this is the Geo Package one. Just rename it quickly. Geo Package. Okay. 
But now what happens if you have a new layer, and I'm just going to go give this a random style from scratch. Uh, we'll just go single symbol and no labels. I don't actually like a color. I don't like yellow, so let's just go with a, a bright orange. Okay, so here's our, our layer that's been added from scratch. So now this is, in this case, we've got a, a, a shape file that is not our, um, hasn't got the QML saved in it. What we can then do is load a QML file that has been saved elsewhere. So we can right click, properties, select style, load style, and then we just need to go find it on our drive somewhere, or wherever it's saved. And in this case, it's in a folder on our desktop. There it is, it's taken us straight there. It's that one. We can say open and load style and apply and OK. OK, so I showed you a couple things to do there. Saving the, the layer file, the QML in the same folder as your shape file with the same name will allow you to add it to a new project and then render according to what that layer file says or loading from somewhere else. OK, so that is, that's two ways you can use it. And hopefully that will be useful to you and save you a heap of time when you're working with those geological layers. Okay, that's it. Cheers.